Welcome back to LA Live today. You are arriving at Noah's Ark. Are you pumped? Are you excited? Are you ready to go? Better be. It's about to be a crazy ride. It was a pretty long car ride there, but the scenery was so beautiful and so green. Um, so I just thought I'd share a little bit of that with you guys. I also want to let you know that this video is split into three parts, but I'm posting everything at the same time. So after you watch this video, you're welcome to watch the other two if you want. It's just there was so much to see. It was hard for me to cut things out. Um, so I just wanted to be able to show you guys everything. Oh, parking is ten dollars. Good note for everyone. Look at that, guys. You'll see that big old sign that says Ark Encounter. The camera's getting stolen once again. No way, too zoomed in. Cause we were far away. Oh shoot! Is that it? Oh my goodness, you see it? No, zoom in. No, out. where? Holy moly! Oh. Micah, you're such a jerk. <laughs> okay, you can't really see it, but it's right there. I can see it from here. Dang, that thing is huge! Let's go. Cool. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to see it. Alright, anyway. So, guys, we just arrived at the Ark Encounter. Ginormous sign over there, which we also I'll include that earlier in the video from when I first filmed it. Now we need to go get tickets, and I got like some footage already from far away of it, and it looks huge, people. Chimungus, I can't believe it. Oh, yeah, and we came in Micah's little whip today. <laughs> How do you feel, Micah? I need a ticket. Here I come. amongst the logs here okay so after we got our tickets now we are just waiting to board the bus welcome to the ark encounter it's bigger than imagination as we prepare to journey back in time please be courteous and allow those who might require a seat to sit down first if you're standing, please hold on to the rails until the oh. bus is no longer in motion. We're like the only ones here. <laughs> also, please take note of where you park your vehicle for your return. Welcome aboard. As we leave the terminal, we're embarking on an epic journey, leaving the modern world for a trip back to Noah's day. Our recreation of Noah's Ark is awe-inspiring. At 510 feet long and 85 feet wide, it's one and a half times the length and half the width of a football field. 
The arc is 51 feet high and built 15 feet off the ground, making it seven stories high. And the top of the bow is actually 104 feet off the ground. That's 10 stories high. Over 3.3 million board feet of timber were used in its construction, and it weighs in at a remarkable 8,000 tons. The arc is the largest timber frame structure in the world. Some of the Engelman streets you see at the arc come from dense city forests, estimated to be 200 years old. The heavy timbers for the arc include Douglas Fir, plus Radiata Pine. Thank you, Ken. Now, as we approach the drop-off area, you're arriving at the answer center. Inside the center, you'll find restrooms, guest service facilities, snacks, coffee, and detail. We have found the ark. Finally, we have discovered it. It's been here the whole time. That is massive. Holy freaking smokes, do you see how huge this thing is? It's like, whoa. And in case you like couldn't make out what they were saying on the bus, they were saying it's bigger than like one and a half football fields, like seven stories high. It's Where are we, Micah? Yeah, yeah, I got this little, little pineapple dude. His yeah, name is literally Pineapple. Poor guy. Where is that parakeet? Oh, here they are over here. English parakeet. A dove. Got a diamond dove. Oh, there they are. Oh, here's some more over here. Hey, what's up, little guy? All by yourself today? I want to get closer. To oh, oh, there they are. How y'all doing? Rosie. Rosie. Keep moving. Wow. See these monument things? Like that one says the fall of man whenever we first fell into sin. What's this one about? This one's about punishment and promise. Pretty sure that's Adam and Eve leaving the garden. Getting that little snake stomped on. Watch out there. Yeah, you see these giraffes made out of like, I don't know what. Made out of something, but they look cool. Cain murders Abel. That's what's shown in this one. Oh boy. Wickedness fills the earth. Ain't that the truth? See that guy? Oh, you're big. Yeah. Hey, how you doing? Which one's this one, sir? This one's Noah and the Ark. Whole reason why we're here. All right, get in there. Tell me something. Okay. Let me, let me just read it straight off of here, okay? Noah was born at the top there in the 10th generation. In the next one, he was a righteous man who refused to follow the wicked ways of the world. Okay, in the next one... God directed Noah to build an ark for his family and land animals. And the Lord also told Noah that he would destroy the earth with a flood. So that up there is the ark that he was told to build. And then down there is the dead people underneath the water. And then one more level below that. Noah faithfully obeyed the Lord and built the ark. And down at the very bottom, Noah and his 
wife and their three sons and their wives were spared in the ark along with the representatives of every kind of land animal. Amen. Wow, you just can't grasp how big this thing is. Wow. It's so big. It's amazing. I mean, I feel very blessed that we were able to come here today to come see this. It seemed like the longest car ride I've ever been in, even though we've traveled farther, but it just seemed like it was dragging on. And then people were driving like grandmas down the highway. All right. But we finally made it. We finally made it. Oh my goodness, this is so big. Crazy. You need to get some pictures, Shay. Like, look at little me and Big Ark. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to take a picture like that family did. This is where we enter the Ark. Look at this, oh my goodness. So big, so big. Oh, 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 going around. We have arrived. Oh no, storming outside. We have found the ark. Can you believe it? I hear animals. Watch out, guys. <laughs> there might be fish. Oh, no, I'm getting scared. What are we going to do? Run! We got to run, but I don't know which, which direction you would run. <laughs> Guy. You guys doing all right? So I thought I'd pop in here to share a little more information with you guys about the Ark. The Ark Encounter took a year and a half to build versus Noah who took about 75 years to build his Ark. It cost a hundred million dollars to build the Ark Encounter. That is a lot of money. <laughs> There are three decks inside of the Ark. The first deck focuses on the size and scope of the Ark, and you learn about the different animals that Noah had on board, which you are seeing them now. The second deck focuses on the pre-flood world, animal concerns, and how God prepared Noah to build the Ark. The third deck demonstrates how Noah and his family might have set up their living space. Obviously, this is kind of like a guesstimate, right? Because nobody was actually there, but... Uh, we also have post-flood events and Museum of the Bible exhibit.
is a small model of the Ark. Still bigger than me. Small. Uh -huh. And we're actually inside here. I'm, I'm like a little plastic figurine hanging out in one of these little cubbies. How big the Ark is, and that's the Titanic. It's like over half the size of the Titanic. Really? It's moving, Dad. It's a real one. Yeah, that's real. I don't want to touch it. But I'm probably oh, well, not allowed over to. Over here, over here. <gasps> People are touching them, Dad. <laughs> this is going to happen. Oh, my goodness. Go ahead. that God made to everyone that he was never going to flood this place again. It's a good thing because I can't swim. 